technology, particularly computer technology, has been a great enabler. And it uh, provides tremendous resources at very low cost to everyone. So in the extreme example, you can have a kid in college with a notebook computer start Facebook or Google, and those are real examples. But kids at any age can in fact create very complex, rich music at very low cost. That wasn't feasible 30 years ago, let alone when I was a child. Uh, so with synthesizers or even software synthesis, uh, kids can create a whole orchestra, a whole jazz band, a whole rock group. Um, so it's very enabling in that regard. I mean, learning the piano has been frustrating, let alone other instruments like the violin, where you can spend a couple years uh, just trying to get a decent sound out of it. Uh, but you have to invest a lot until, it, until you get any gratification, really, from creating music yourself. Things like Guitar Hero, I mean, those are cybernetic composers that are jamming with you. They're getting more and more sophisticated. Music is a skill that I think can be taught today quite well with, with computerized methods, either on a separate computer or built into a keyboard, and, and we're doing that at Kurzweil Music. Uh, and these are starting to get pretty sophisticated. The intelligence is only going to increase because we, we have an exponential growth in, in the hardware and software of computation. That's, that's been one, one of the primary themes in my books. But does music education um, become more of a virtual online process or does it stay in the schools? Uh, what's the role for, for public education? And I'm thinking more in music education. I think we're po poised now for a great revolution in education in general, in music, but in every other field. Uh, to be able to do that online. Now that doesn't mean instantly we're going to do away with brick and mortar schools, but we're going to see a dramatic change uh, because there's tremendous opportunity and that's a great thing because it means kids all over the world, including in the poorest areas of the world that are now getting very inexpensive computers and online resources can access the very best education, much of which is automated. The primary so an advantage today that people point to of traditional types of education is the socialization. Uh, I, think you, I think that can be facilitated online. Also, I think there's a role for human teachers in being mentors and sort of providing the psychological aspect and the encouragement and understanding uh, the student's relationship to the subject matter, particularly if they're creating music, it's very emotional. And, trying to <clears throat> create motivation. Um, but the, the tools are already quite impressive. And it's a great opportunity, at very low cost. Kids who otherwise would not have access to music education will be able to get it, including the ability then to create fantastic uh, music and edit it on Pro Tools and create uh, online synthesizers and orchestrations, you know, very inexpensively. Do you think playing the piano or just making music or singing, but active music creation, it enhances the capacity of the human mind and, and what does it do for, for, the, for the brain, for intelligence and for the mind itself? Music fits in very well with the neocortex, not an accident because it's our neocortex that created the music. Uh, all mammals have a neocortex, but our neocortex was complex enough to create music and literature and art and science. Other primates, which are very close, but they don't have our frontal cortex, which is more neocortex, uh, didn't do any of that. Uh, so by learning music and getting involved in music, you, it's the best possible exercise to develop uh, this ability to think because it's very much consistent with the type of thinking that the neocortex wants to do, which is of course not an accident since music was invented by our, the neocortexes of our species. I think it has to do with hearing our mother's heartbeat when we're in the womb, which is not uh, predictable and steady. In fact, it varies just like music does. It actually has approximately the same beat that we expect from music.